All right, all right, all right. What's good y'all, Soul here, and welcome back to my story mode. So you've seen the title and you've seen the thumbnail. It's very obvious that today is gonna be a little more of a solemn topic because this is truly upsetting news that we heard a couple of days ago, right? Uh, for those of you who are completely unaware, a couple of days ago, it was confirmed that Xbox closed down a multitude of studios, specifically four and one of the biggest talking points is the closure of Tanglewood Studios. These guys are responsible of producing games like The Evil Within 1 and 2, Ghostwire Tokyo, and most notably, Hi-Fi Rush. And Hi-Fi Rush, if you know me at all, was one of my favorite games of 2023. That game came out completely randomly when they shadow dropped it, by the way. That was a complete, it, it had no marketing, no type of, ads or anything like that they just kind of dropped it one day and everybody texted me they were like hey hey this game is right up your alley you're gonna like this game you should watch this trailer i'm like what the heck y'all talking about what is hi-fi rush i've never heard of this game and surely enough i saw one trailer i bought it that same day because they were absolutely right this crazy action music based fighting game not fighting but like action game was totally up my alley the cartoon anime-esque style and everything like that is just so much fun to look at and even more fun to play i played the crap out of that game until i beat it when it first came out early in the year of 2023 had an amazing time with it i just can't imagine that game not existing now right and so like me a lot of other people really enjoyed that game it, it just seemingly just blew up out of nowhere and everybody was really cool with that because they were like wow we didn't even think they were capable of making a game like this it, it was just so magic it was just so just out of left field and yet here we are with just such a magical piece of media here so everybody was fine everybody was happy with it and we were we were all doing good and then they decided to close down the studio <laughs> The reason people are mad about this kind of thing is because why in the world would you take something like this for granted, right? Yeah, it's not making, it wasn't making like COD money or like, you know, what COD used to make. I don't know what the numbers are for COD these days, but regardless, you know, it still won plenty of awards. It still got so much recognition within the gaming realm. Why would you do something like this to the people that developed that game? You know what I'm saying? Put all these people out of a job because you guys wanted immediate money? Really? I don't know. I mean, I know that we're in a very tough space with economy stuff, with, you know, political stuff and everything like that. And when it comes to the top brass, when it comes to pretty much anything, but especially within the gaming realm, we're coming to see just how selfish, greedy, and evil some of these people are. And I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna miss my words here. These people are disgusting, disgusting, because they're just so greedy. And if they don't see the right amount of money within the right amount of time, it's not worth it. It's not worth the product, it's not worth the effort, it's never worth it. And that sickens me to my core, because that is what's ruined a lot of you know, gaming nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Like all these other companies like, you know, EA and stuff like that, they're really heavily pushing the AI agenda. And you know, all these other companies, it's especially like Xbox closing down multiple studios because they didn't see the kind of money that they wanted to see off rip. That is sick, disgusting work, all right? And I'm just, it's, it's really upsetting, all right? Nintendo's the only company that I can believe in right now and that's really sad because even Nintendo as a business, not exactly amazing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, wh where does that leave us? Oh, and by the way, I, I guess this is pretty obvious. This is not just about Hi-Fi Rush. This is about morals, ethics, stuff like that. Because logically speaking, you, you start up a company, that company does well, right? The company's doing great, whatever. You have a project that you wanna do and you know, you hire the people that are qualified to do a job like that, right? They have their own setup, they have their own studio, everything's great. They're doing good, they're winning awards, people are talking about their work and it's too, it, everything's going great. And your first logical step forward is to tank them for immediate money? I need everybody in charge to get wiped off the map respectfully <laughs> for a decision like that. Because if you can make a great product, right? A great product that sits very well with the general public and you could still lose your job, what hope is there in the gaming realm? 
what hope is there because why would any i that's the thing right i've been thinking a lot about the people at tanglewood studios and all of these other developers that got canned because you know either canned or got relocated to completely different projects that they're probably I, I, something tells me that they're not even really all that excited to work on right like why are we not letting these people cook the entire point of building something like tanglewood studios is so that these people have a comfortable and safe and you know fun way to be able to express themselves through these video games through this this medium because you know once upon a time gaming was an art medium until it got it, it got too popular and now it's being used for nothing more than sick disgusting greed and that's really unfortunate because you could tell that a lot of these developers especially tanglewood studios too had passion and i'm not ignoring any of the other studios too i'm just kind of blanking on their names right now the studio that developed the dishonored series can why those are not bad games by any means. I haven't played much of Dishonored, but I'll tell you right now, you could tell that they were, th that game had a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, who deserves something like that, okay? And I'm, I'm just really hoping that when it comes to these developers and, you know, their place in the gaming space, I truly do hope, truly with all my heart, that they do not lose their passion to develop or anything like that. I highly doubt that they will because those skills are just incredible and they've absolutely proven themselves, okay? I really hope that they don't lose their love and passion for gaming and gaming development because they have a true talent that deserves to be explored and deserves the right place to really be able to create their craft. And Xbox, Microsoft, is just not it. It's just not it. Right now, I'm so upset with them. I'm at the point of like, actually speaking of which they were actually planning on raising the price of game pass recently what i don't even know if i want my xbox anymore the only reason that i really had it was because of game pass and because it had access to all these cool different games and stuff like that for a monthly but at this point they're just gonna raise the prices we're not gonna get any good ips and all of these games i could just buy one time right i could just buy them one time and just have them on my pc or my playstation or even on switch some of them What's the point of me having an Xbox, especially if Game Pass is just going to start getting more and more expensive to the point where I'm paying AAA title price for all of these different games when I could just pay the AAA title price one time for a different game on a different console. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to me. We're at the point right now where Hi-Fi Rush was getting review bombed positively. It is now Xbox's highest rated game of all time. You know why? Because that's the people letting you guys know you guys messed up. You are disgusting for doing something like that to such talented people, such amazingly talented people. Hi-Fi Rush was so well-crafted and I'm so upset that I really didn't get the chance to talk about it the way that I wanted to talk about it because I didn't really have much of a, a space to do that yet. You know, this wasn't really built up like that at the time. I, I just never found the time, right? And you know, it happens, but I love Hi-Fi Rush so much. The combat, the art style, the characters, the story, the development, all of it was actually incredible. I can see myself playing that game over and over and over again for better scores, for, you know, different just a million different reasons right hi-fi rush was just just a shot in the dark absolute shot in the dark that just brightened up my year it really was that incredible of a game okay and it was one that didn't overstay its welcome you know it wasn't too long or anything like that it was just the right price just the right length and it was great and i have plenty of reasons to keep coming back to that game over and over again because that game is just that well made right and what's a disgusting thing to me also is that that company those developers were in the midst in the midst of pitching a sequel to hi-fi rush there's so much more that they could absolutely do with this world and its characters that it's sickening that this is the time they decided oh nope pulling the rug out you're you're cooked sorry <laughs> yeah good luck with all that what 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 is wrong with you people i, I can't wait I can't wait for the day where the games that you guys do focus on, those boring, just, just rinse and repeat AAA titles that you guys keep putting out, COD, Forza, I can't wait for them to give you nothing. I can't wait for that, those games to give absolutely nothing back. Cause I can't trust, I can't trust y'all anymore. I was already not really rocking with y'all for a majority of the time. I was always a PlayStation Nintendo guy. 
And, you know, I decided to give y'all a chance and y'all, y'all have disappointed me severely, severely. So <sighs> truly tragic, truly upsetting. I think one of these days we should go on a deep dive as to why I love Hi-Fi Rush so much. I'm more than willing to do that because <laughs> I could talk about that game for ages. All of their music choices, the way they made it very streamer and YouTuber friendly by having a, uh, a switch where you can actually just play non-copyright music, completely in-house original music. That's such, that's just so brilliant. That's just, that's how you take care of a fan base. That's how you let you know, that's how you let people know that you care, that you care. And they did that. And that's why that game won so many different awards and stuff like that. You saw them at the game awards, a crappy game doesn't make it into the game awards. And that's just facts. That is just facts. That game was really good and it deserved all the awards that it got. Hell, and I'm saying that like that because recently one of the, the head developers posted multiple pictures of all of the trophies that that game won and said, okay, so this isn't enough, right? Because why wouldn't you be pissed about that? Why would they not be angry about what these people did to them? All of this work, all of this, these accomplishments, all these rewards showcasing that. And what do they get? The boot? That's sick work. That is foul and sick work. And I really hope that Phil Spencer and everybody behind him, I hope they're suffering. Really, truly, I, I, I don't, I, I don't wish anything good on y'all. Truly, <laughs> that's it. It's, it's as simple as that. I'm gonna end it there because this was just more of an angry rant that is definitely a couple days overdue. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I think the more that we put out there, the more we make them realize how much they messed up with this decision because Hi-Fi Rush deserved so much better. It really did. I did not think that I would be making another video like this soon, especially right after Little Big Planet, because you know, Sony and PlayStation, they're not out of hot water either. They still got it coming. But as far as Xbox, Microsoft goes, they pissed me off. And I'm sure they pissed a lot of you guys off too. Absolutely disgusting work what they did. So <sighs> guess we'll have to play things by ear, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. But you know, if you guys do wanna hear me talk about, you know, more Hi-Fi Rush and stuff like that, I will gladly do a crazy long lengthy review talking about, you know, how much I love that game because I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching this absolutely enjoy Hi-Fi Rush too. <laughs> that game deserves a lot better than it got, but I'm gonna leave it at that. So with that, I'm passing it over to you. And you go ahead and tell me everything that you guys are thinking in the comment section below. Did you enjoy Fi Fi Rush? Do you think that it got what it deserved? Are you upset as well? Or do you think that it was long overdue? Hi Fi Rush actually wasn't that good and this was meant to happen. It was pretty much inevitable. Tell me everything that you guys were thinking in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I'm always, always, always gonna be down there with you guys. But with that, it does appear to be skedaddle clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment and consider subscribing for more content just like this here. And with that, I'm gone. So thanks again, hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good ass care and I'll see you all next time.